Yo, what's good everybody? This is Suheel back with Feel Good Threads. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to flip these Bloodline 1s into some Varsity 85s. So let's get our X-Acto knives ready. I'm gonna show you guys the process first. And right after that, I'm gonna show you guys the details on how we're gonna give these bad boys away. Are you ready to win some free kicks? Well then let's go. Lifestyles of the young and wildin' Trying to get a foot in on my toes from my callus Standing on my own, being grown is the challenge Money, women, weed, what we need is a balance I just want a queen and some green in the palace Couple kids hooping with the b-bar talents Getting buckets in the graves made for the skylies If not rap money, that's paying for their college But maybe that's a wonderland Alice Cash rules get the money like Shaolin Merch table pushing T's no malice In my heart trying to feel the peace that's silence Streets buzzing like the bees hit the sirens Firing I'd rather get the pin drop silence all right, y'all, so we're gonna flip these bloodlines into some 85 reds. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with that, there's only 23,000 made. Uh, I copped a very big L. And so today we're gonna be flipping these guys up because it's a perfect base. Leather is buttery as hell. And we're about to make these better than the actual 85 highs. Let's go ahead and jump into the first step, which is actually cutting out all of the bloodline pieces here. Now it's really, really important that you use a brand new razor blade because when you're cutting into small parts like this it's really intricate and you can cut into the leather real fast so let's have a nice sharp blade and let's pay attention to exactly how we're cutting so let's go quick disclaimer guys y'all see me start cutting the bloodline from the bottom shoe to the top i actually recommend cutting from the top to the bottom since the top bloodlines overlap the bottom ones this will make your job a lot cleaner and easier now let's continue with the video when i jump into actually cutting the bloodline parts out. I'm not cutting straight. I'm actually cutting at an angle. And what that does is when you cut at an angle, just in case you cut too hard, you won't see that sliced part on the actual shoe. It'll be embedded on the inside here. So let's jump into that first. And when I do this, again, you wanna kinda have a feel for how deep you need to go. You don't wanna go deeper than you really need to. So I just start in the beginning and just kind of test out. Same thing with the sole here. I'm gonna to try to dig deep inside. And then we're gonna get a chance to see how easy or how difficult it was to press it out. Really, really simple. All right, so again, I'm gonna continue that process. 45 degrees is probably the best angle to hit this at. It cuts like butter with a, a nice sharp blade, and that's why I recommend it. Cutting this at an angle helps you hide all your mistakes, which hopefully you don't have. Again, I go through a second time just to help cut that first line that we initially cut. And just like that, it's gone. Now we got the first portion done. I feel a little bit more comfortable. So we're gonna jump onto more important parts such as the swoosh. Now before I jump on the swoosh, I do want you to keep note of this threading here. We're gonna try not to cut that threading, okay? We want this to look as original as possible. So let's start from there. And what I'll do is I'll start at this point here right before the thread and cut in. Again, I'm gonna stop right here. I'll hop over that stitch and I'll keep going. And it's really important to feel how much pressure to put on this razor blade. Now here, I'm just gonna cut very close to the thread and obviously try to avoid cutting the thread. I'll use this razor blade to kind of peel it out. So then that way I know like for sure I didn't get in that thread area or cut it and it'll give me a good jump off point to start peeling the bloodline out. See, now I got it. 
navigating needs to show the head and toes. Catch me at the office with the salaries and medicals. Rap game, don't wanna hear it. Rather see me dead in hoes. Like Stanley L. Nats, only friends with them zeros. No interview with E. Bro, still working on my ego. Don't do this for the fame, G. I do this for my people. I got the keys to life, but I ain't got no fucking keyhole. Power moves with no PowerPoint. Go get the key. Hey, yo, the fish gon' fry in the kitchen. Mama working hard every Friday. You should know I'm lonely on a mission. In my path, get the fuck up out of my way. Yeah. Run the bag, run the bag, we gon' run it up. Yeah. Hit the gas, hit the gas, leave a ton of dust. Yeah. Run the bag, run the bag, we gon' run it up. Yeah. Hit the gas, yeah. hit the gas, yeah. leave a ton of dust. Uh. Write a verse, write a verse, write another verse Hand me ups and downs, bro, I used to rock my brother's shirts Know they want some new jams, hit them with that butter first Turning left to right, but I don't know which way the rudder works Stay afloat, pray for hope, many folks afraid to cope Think they got it locked, but they ain't really know the safe was broke Industry be thieving, sneaking, scheming on that paper though Watching out for 12, like that oven in the baker's dough Cop it off the shelf, buying streams Alright y'all, so we got the difficult part out of the way All the bloodlines are gone Next step we're gonna do is actually paint the shoes. This is the easy part, and we're gonna start with the tongue. I keep it shh when I'm posted, dive into the notes I write a poem. And now my name ring a bell like a xylophone. Lonely stony lifting up in that sky alone. Writing for myself, I ain't writing for a Viacom. Y'all wanna buy some chains, I wanna buy a home. Lessons with a German Shepherd plus a weapon, Smith and Wesson 38 special. If you don't know, that's a firearm. They snooze button on my music like it's my alarm. California dreaming, have you California Pacific Ocean floating, bring the coast in all around the So we're done with the tongue. As you guys saw, I was using this guy named Too Soft. Too Soft helps just seep into the actual tongue. Now that this is drying out, we're gonna get to the next step, which is just masking off and continuing with the shoe. Now the most important part about masking, guys, you want to learn how to get this edge to be nice and clean. Doesn't matter where the rest of it goes, you want this edge to look clean. So for example, I'm looking at it right now and I can see I kind of overdid it right here. So either I can use my fingernail and just kind of press it back in or I could use an X-Acto knife just to get a little bit more precise. All right, y'all, I got this bad boy all masked up. Next thing we're gonna do is use this prepare and deglazer. We're gonna go ahead and use this with some cotton balls, clean off the entire surface and we're gonna start painting. I try not to use too much prepare and deglazer and it should just, just be enough where you can graze across and you don't see any drips. Be especially careful on the Jordan sign here. Sometimes the paint will come off of there. All right, y'all, we want a nice vibrant red. So we're gonna start off by painting all of the black portions white first, so we have a nice coat. And then after we have a nice base, we can jump onto the red. Speeding down my lane while I'm sleeping is a shame. Is you dreaming or you working? Both meanings ain't the same. Opening my eyes, cause these snakes running game. I'm just focused on the prize while these fakes hunt the fame. Phony friends party when they hardly know your name. When you going through some real shit, them same people fake. Girlies do you dirty and they know you trying to play. Even though you ain't thirsty, but you still want to taste tripping up your job because they won't raise your now that we have our base all prepared in white we're going to go ahead and mix our fire red color here now the fire red on the varsity 85 is a little different than most fire reds you guys can see here that i've got flat black i've got fire red and i've got purple and i'm going to show you exactly how to mix our varsity 85 red next so when i start i always start off with our base fire red So you guys see I haven't really counted any drops or anything, I just kind of give an estimate here. But we should have about that much of the fire red. Now we're gonna jump onto a purple. And both purple and black are gonna have very minimal effect here. We're just using them to try to get a darker tone. Because of that, I like to mix the purple kind of more on the side. Just one drop. That'll help set our Varsity 85 more to a purple tone. And now we're gonna use this flat black to darken it up a little bit. Both flat black and purple are very minimally used. That's all I'm gonna use for right now, guys. And you guys can see the difference here in proportion. A lot of red, a drop of purple, a drop of flat black. And you can immediately see how quickly the black and the purple darken this right up. Now you guys can see this is a little bit on the darker end. 
See, it's almost like a burgundy. So we gotta add a little bit of fire red again. Our goal is to eventually get to that color, but you wanna try to get it as close to Varsity 85 as possible. So now you guys can see how much more fire red I used over the black and the purple. Just one drop of black and purple go a long way. And now we've actually achieved the color that we, we need. Now what we can do is test this color out on a more inconspicuous area on your shoe. If it still looks too dark, just add a little bit of fire red. So just for demonstration purposes, I showed you how to do it here. I'm actually going to use my airbrush and drop it into the airbrush. You can use it like this and hand paint it as well. Would you rather be on or would you rather be happy? Supposed to be a doctor or a lawyer, but I'm rapping. I feel happy when I feel that breeze. While the ash and the smoke burn through the palm trees. Please, California been ablaze for a few days. I've been in the day. I've been on the road. I've been on the plane. Put me in, coach. I've been in the game. Man, I'm the type of dude to kick a flow and get the dough to rise. Automatic flow, you should know this shit is motorized. And into the depth, see the stress got me mortified. Caution in the wind, cause my kin live in shorter lives. Money long, bow, bow on the organ squad. Say she a snack, no happy. Happy meal, order fries, 45, send the soldier guys to the borderlines. People pursuing pure happiness, I know the vibe, yeah. I've been on my own, posted in the crib, getting in my zone, breaking my peace, message in the phone, message in the bottle, blessing in the nose. So what I'm doing here, guys, I'm spreading the black and extending it as far as it can go. Since this is my first real layer of any paint on this panel here, I'm trying to spread it nice and thin and that'll help with our durability. You guys can see I'm just doing a back and forth sliding motion right at that edge of the sole and the, where the upper meets, just to make sure I get that nice, clean, crisp line. And I'll do the same thing now with the swoosh. I will hold the swoosh and I'll actually press it out like this. See, you can already see I'm, I, there's white in there and just slide the black underneath. just enough where I can make sure that you guys can't see anything underneath that swoosh. Everybody lives, but everybody dies. Smile on your face, but the pain in your eyes. Feeling all alone, why you leave a wrong red? In your happy place when you all in your head. Stay the mind, pay the rhyme, haters all dead. Skater die on the NES. Young homies lost, they don't know what that shit is. Blowing cartridges in them games when we kiss. We ain't never shoot cartridges in them schools. We just hit the function, get the girls, and we hoop. Now it's about the cache, living in the last day. Stripping in the fast lane, focus on the cash. Last step, guys, we gotta make sure we protect all of our artwork. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about what can I use to seal my art and it doesn't crack anymore. Well, LK Shoes has this protector. It's a matte finish and it's actually a finisher for the end of your projects. This guy will not only be scratch resistant for your project, but it'll also protect it from cracking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my airbrush. We're gonna finish off this tutorial, and then I'm gonna give these shoes away. Welcome to shit to vibe with turn up real, don't keep it silent. Fake thugs, dead at violence. Most of y'all be fearing sirens. Still trying to find my balance. Keep my faith, display my talents. Hustle, dough, vacation, islands. Donate dollars, slay them tyrants. Holy water, sip from chalice. Alcoholic menopauses. It's true, we all got problems. That piece is here to solve them. Llama going flame with phenomenal. Yo, I hope you guys appreciated this video today. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Comment below, let me know how I did. And on to the most important part, which is the giveaway. This is a size 10 pair of Bloodline Ones flipped into the Varsity 85s. If y'all wanna win this pair of kicks, it's real simple. All you have to do is either go to shopfeelgood.com and look for a picture of these kicks and you can enter the giveaway that way. Or if you click on the actual title of this YouTube video, we should have a link below that says giveaway. And then if you click on that link, you can enter through that way as well. You can have multiple entries. You gotta click on the link to get into those entries. And uh, obviously, I wish you guys all good luck. My name is Suhil with Feel Good Threads, and I'm out of here. Peace.
Speeding down my lane while I'm sleeping is a shame. Is you dreaming or you working? Both meanings ain't the same. Opening my eyes, cause these snakes run a game. I'm just focused on the prize while these fakes hunt the fame. Phony friends party when they hardly know your name. When you going through some real shit, them same people fake. Girlies do you dirty and they know you trying to play. Even though you ain't thirsty, but you still wanna taste. Tripping off your job, cause they won't raise your pay. You've been there like five years, slaving every single day. Your ex got a new man, now it ain't the same. Now you see her on the gram, happy. Happiness in her face. You could have been her man, got lost along the way. Now you weeping what you sow, and you sowing up some pain. Wear it on your sleeve when a coat fill the rain. Here's my two cents. I just hope you want the change. Yo. Summertime, fall, winter, spring. Feeling good, feeling great.